So you have the scalene muscles like this coming from the neck, from, from the uh, uh, transverse process of the vertebra, and these nerve roots are coming out between the scalene. So when you do an interscalene block, this is where you're going, okay? Um, what's the function of scalene muscles? What do they do? Where are they? Where do they originate? Where do they insert? And is it important? Mm -hmm. Yeah, very, very good. Scalene tubercle in the clavicle as well, yeah, as well as a first rib. How many scalene muscles are there? Three. Three. So you have scalene is anterior, medius, and posterior. Why are they called scalene? What does scalene mean? <coughs> what is a scalene triangle? When you have, a, you have an isolateral triangle, equilateral triangle, what does a scalene triangle mean? Never heard of a scalene <laughs> triangle. No. no. Missed that in maths. <laughs> Missed that bit of maths. Unequal sides. So you have two sides, uh, the third side is longer than the other two. So that's why it's called scalene. So the three scalene muscles are of different lengths. They're all starting from the transverse process of the cervical vertebra. Uh, you don't have to know the, the insertion of the individual ones, but you need to remember that from the neck, it is coming to the clavicle at the top and the fist rib as well as some to the, to the second rib. So that's why it's one of the muscles of, uh, accessory muscles of respiration. When you uh, inspire, these ribs are pulled up because of the scalene muscles. Okay, that's the action of scalene. And this is your anatomical relation, the trunks of the plex, uh, the, the roots of the plexus come out, uh, come out, come in between the anterior, scalenius anterior and scalenius medius. Okay, right, so we are here now. We are in the upper trunk, middle trunk, lower trunk. These trunks lie in the posterior triangle of the neck, in the clavicular region, okay? So the, these are the, your three trunks lying in the clavicular region. Um, okay, so what happens to them after this? They become, they become cords. Uh, not at this point. Um, okay, now you have the root trunk. What's the next? Imagine a tree, root, trunk, divide. So, yeah, so it divides. So it divides into anterior and posterior. That's it. Now, I'm just for the ease of understanding, I'm ju just going to draw all the posterior trunks as posterior divisions in a different color. Okay. Where do these divisions lie anatomically? We, we have come from the neck, we are coming to the uh, supraclavicular fossa. So the divisions are, where are they lie? Where do they lie? Behind the clavicle. Sorry? Behind the clavicle. Mm -hmm. So if we have somebody with a clavicular fracture, then it's uh, divisions that are, that are affected, okay? So these come, then they lie behind the clavicle. Okay, now, there are a lot of MCQs which will be related to this part. That now you have to understand your axillary artery. Okay, so if you imagine the axilla and the axillary artery, those divisions are now going to form the cords. Okay, all the posterior divisions form the posterior cord. So that posterior to the axillary artery. The anterior divisions of the upper trunk and the middle trunk form the lateral cord. And the anterior division of the uh, lower trunk on its own forms the medial cord. So these cords are in relation to the axillary artery. So they're all lying in the axilla. Lateral cord. Tell me the nerves from the lateral cord. How the brachial plexus. Take your time, think. It will be all now. Lateral cord. Whenever you think lateral, think lateral. Ulnar is medial, isn't it? Okay. It's okay. Sorry? No. 
Musculocutaneous. That's one. What else? Next person. Okay, no worries. There are three nerves. Long thoracic nerve. Not long thoracic. You have the musculocutaneous. Then the second one is a lateral root of median nerve, not the whole median nerve, a lateral root of median nerve. And the lateral pectoral nerve. LLM, lateral pectoral nerve, lateral root of median nerve, and musculocutaneous. They're all coming from the lateral cord, okay? So lateral cord is, uh, I'll draw it in a minute, but that's lateral to the axillary artery. What are the nerves from the medial cord of the brachial plexus? Mm, that would be the median nerve? Um, the, the, uh, the radial. The medial root of median nerve, right? Because I said there is a lateral root of median nerve. So you have a lateral root of median nerve coming from the lateral cord, and a medial root of median nerve coming from the medial cord joints to form the medial, median nerve. That's one. What else? You have a lateral pectoral nerve, so you need to have a medial pectoral nerve. So that's the second one. Third one, medial side, ulnar nerve. Okay? So third nerve. And then you have the medial cutaneous nerve of the arm, medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm. So, medial cutaneous nerve of the arm, medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm, um, medial root of median nerve, medial pectoral nerve, and ulnar nerve. Uh, medial cutaneous nerve of the arm, medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm, medial root of median nerve, medial pectoral nerve, and ulnar nerve. Okay? When we go through the surface anatomy in a minute, you'll, we will put, the, put all this into context and how it works. But you need to, this is pretty much hardcore anatomy. You, read, you sort of need to memorize this. Okay. I will stop here for a minute and go back there so it will be easier for you to understand. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to US MLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.